Hey, Bart here with Cycling Strong. So I'm here with Dave today. We got a whole series of videos going, so check all of them out. There are lots of good information for you, things that'll really help you in your cycling. So the one I'm gonna ask now is, how important is, how much do you pay attention to nutrition in training with your athletes? Okay, so nutrition is a super important factor mm -hmm. within training. Uh, I am not, a nutritionist or a registered dietitian. Right. We have one involved with Plan 7 yep. and she has a focus on sport nutrition, mm -hmm. does an amazing job. Mm -hmm. She can help you out with consultation, mm -hmm. you know, take an assessment of what you have been doing, right. all the way up to coming to your house, throwing out all the junk <laughs> in the kitchen, yeah. taking you to the grocery store and showing you how to, how to cool. fuel yourself properly. Right. The biggest key um, you know, if people have general questions about nutrition, right. um, is I want to understand what your approach is. Right. I'll have people tell me all the time, hey, if it's less than a 90 minute ride, I only drink water and I don't eat anything. Right. And that just blows me away. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe it. Um, and, and so then I'm, okay, so tell me what you do for a two hour ride. Right. Well, I might drink one bottle of drink mix, one bottle of water and I might eat something. Mm -hmm. And my mind is blown. Mm -hmm. Because when we start exercising, we can't take in enough food to replace the calories we're burning. Right. So we're in a total deficit, and as you increase the intensity, the deficit increases. Right. As we increase the volume, deficit increases. Right. And so, uh, you know, let's say you're time constrained. Yeah. You gotta get up at six in the morning to do your workout. Right. You don't wanna get up at five o'clock and eat something, right. you're gonna get up at quarter to six, throw your bibs on right. and get on your bike. Right. Um, so you probably ate dinner seven, 7.30. Yep. No food until period. 6 a.m. Yep. And then you get on the bike, you start exercising. So you're, you've been in a deficit, you've been sleeping, yeah, but yeah. you're in a deficit. Right. You start exercising, more deficit, and then you get partway through your intervals for the day and you're like, I am ruined. Yeah. My legs hurt, yeah. I, I don't have energy, yeah. and you write in your training plan, today sucked mm -hmm. and I feel like crap. Right. I could not complete those, those intervals. And I might send a message back, well, hey, you know, what, what went wrong? Yeah. I don't know, I got, did my regular thing, woke up at six and yeah. got on the bike and felt terrible. Oh, did you eat anything beforehand? Right. No. Did you eat anything during? No. What did you drink? Water. Yeah. We've got a problem because you know our bodies, depending on the person, can tolerate probably 200 to 450 calories per hour mm -hmm. taking in when mm -hmm. we're exercising. And if you pay attention to your calorie burn during workouts, dependent yeah. on, the, on the intensity level, you might be burning anywhere from 500 to 1200 calories oh. per hour. And so, you know, you get yourself in a, in a big hole and you lose the quality of the workout. And that's the key factor is right. you don't get quality when you're doing your training. Uh, so we need to make sure that the gas tank is full. Right. We pumped it full and as it's going down, we can't refill it while right. we're exercising, but we can at least mitigate some of the loss right. by taking in some calories. So we don't hit empty, uh, super soon right we might hit empty later but right. at least we've we've assisted the quality of the effort yeah so the main thing is is that you've got to look at your nutrition yourself understand your body and the things that you're doing but most definitely don't jump on the bike and think that you only need a bottle of water and you're done um, also if you're trying to go further than that get into a lot of weight loss and during your training schedules and things like that Get a dietitian, get somebody on your team to help you or at least counsel you on what you should be doing and what will work for your body. So stay tuned for more segments. Hope you like this and uh, we'll be back with some more interesting tips for you.